Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Have a really cool one today. We're going to learn how to play Run by the Foo Fighters. So this is in standard tuning, three guitarists. So we have some sections that have three guitar parts going on. So I'm going to show you everything that's going on. And um, so you might have to decide if you don't have three guitar players um, to, you know, which ones to play. So um, there's obviously a main part though that you would play if you were like the sole guitarist in a band or whatever. Now, this intro is actually more than one guitar as well. So um, there is the part that I played at the very beginning, and then there's the part that is actually lower. That is a little bit lower in the mix than the higher part that I played. So. Um, once again, if you have two guitars, you can make it sound really cool. Um, I was thinking that might have been some sort of a, an octave effect because the, the, the tone sounds kind of like it's an octave pedal. Um, but there's some of the, some of it's not an octave. Some of them are just harmonized a third and sometimes a fourth. So um, it's obviously two separate guitar parts there. So let's start here with the high part first. We're going to do this. So that's going to start here, a little bit of delay on a clean tone. He's more effects on his, uh, but uh, I'm not, it's not really a tone lesson here. So play the 10th the, uh, fret there on the D, then the open G. Then you're going to play the 8th um, fret there on the B string and the 10th fret on the high E string. So pick across those strings, you just go down, 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 so 4, 3, 2. Then up, 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 going one, two, three. So we have this. All right, now the next time we're going to do the same picking pattern, except now the notes are going to be, you're still going to hold that 10 on top, but the notes are going to be 7 on the D string, 9 on the G, 8 on the B, along with that 10. So we, then we have the same picking pattern. It's a really nice little uh, lick. So we have... All right, now it's pretty easy to move to the next chord. You just take this uh, seven on the A and move it over to the seven on the low E string. I mean, I'm sorry, on the uh, fifth string, the A string. So then we go pick that note first, and then the picking's the same as the previous chord, since those notes didn't move. So it's just the root note is on a different string. All right, and then from there we're going to do this. You still leave your pinky at the tenth fret on the high E. You're going to just bar across the 7th fret on the G and the B string, and then you're going to have the open D in there. So you're going to pick a cross from the open D, so D, G, B, then you get that high E string, and then play 7, 8 on the B string. So look at that. So all together. Alright, now along with that we have the lower guitar part, which sounds like this. And that just repeats as well. This one's a lot easier to play. Um, so it's going to be here at the uh, third fret on the A string, then the second fret on the D string. So you start there, and now you're going to have the G string and the B string open. And you're just going to pick across those four strings, the same picking pattern we did up here that we did earlier. Three down, three up. Same thing on the four middle strings here, starting on the A string. Now just pick up your middle finger to have the open A there, still leaving the second fret on the D string, and do the same pattern again. Now it gets even easier. All you got to do is... <laughs> You don't move anything, you just uh, pick the, instead of the open A, the open E first. So we have this so far. Then you're going to go to a D major chord. You're going to pick 
the D string, then the G string, then go over to the high E string. Pick the high E, then the B, um, B string, and then go two, three on the high E string. That goes with that, that we did down there. So those two parts, when played together, fit perfectly and they sound great. All right, so it's a little bit intricate sounding, I know, but it, it's really cool if you put the time into it. All right, now, behind that, there's a lot of guitars start swelling in, doing some, uh, you know, it's kind of, it doesn't really, by the time it actually gets into where you can really hear the chords, uh, it, they're kind of just kind of playing an E minor chord here that is kind of building up in the background, and then they kick into this main riff. This main riff is a lot of fun to play. Let me click in the gain here. And we have a couple of parts here. We have, we actually have three parts playing here. Uh, the main riff. All right, and so along with that, we have octaves. Not the first time you hear it, but later when he plays the riff a little bit longer, like the second time around, is joined with octaves, and most of the time, the rest of the song, they play the octaves with that riff. And the octaves are like. All right, and then as we get into uh, the. We have some. Some uh, unison bends. All right, so what is this main riff? We're going to pull off one to zero on the low E string. And then um, you're going to hit the then the open string, uh, open E string three times. So I just go down, up, down, up. All right. And a little bit later, when you start hearing the octaves. That is just the 8th fret octave off the A string here. So 8th fret on the A, 10th on the G. Pick that and slide down a uh, uh, fret. Hit it a few times. So it's the same rhythm. Now, as we play through this riff, we get some chords. And it goes back into that. Now those chords are playing just straight this power chord off the third fret of the A string. Then move that over to the power chord off the low E string, third fret. Then back up to the fifth fret power, uh, fifth string power chord off the fifth fret. The A string there. So, so you pick straight through these, and then the last one, hit that twice. Now, so then he goes back to the main riff. And then back. Now, when they play these chords, we have these unison bends. So that's playing the fifth fret there on the B string and the seventh fret on the G. So you play that, those two notes, and then bend up the note on the G string until it matches the note on the B string. And then do the same thing at the third fret. Then move all the way up here to the eighth fret and pick it, do it twice. All right, then we get to the pre chorus, which has three definitive guitar parts there as well. One still doing unison bends, um, one still doing octaves, and one playing open chords. So let me show you the open chords first. It sounds like this. All right, so that starts with an E minor chord. Part of the volume down a little bit, roll this gain off a little bit. So it starts with an E minor. Then you just go to a G, but don't play the top two strings. Uh, the third fret, the, the B and the high E. Don't finger those. Just let them ring open. 
Now he goes to this A sus2 chord. And most of the time when he's playing the A in this song, he's letting the, the B and the high E ring with it, making it an A sus2 chord. So we have the B e minor. This is actually going to be a G6 if you have the top string in there. And then the A sus2. All right, then he just goes here to C major seven. So that's just the third fret there on the uh, fifth string and the second fret on the D. The other strings open. Back to that A sus2. Then you're gonna end it with a C dominant nine chord. And that's gonna be the third fret there on the A, second fret on the D, third fret on the B, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a B flat note, sorry, but third fret on the G string, and then the third fret on the B string. And he ends that with an E minor. So the E minor. Now, the one that makes it sound correct is with these octaves that are playing with it. And here's the octave melody. Alright, so that's an octave shape built off the A string. So 7 on the A string and then 9 on the G string there, Mute, muting the D string in the middle. All right, so you play 7th fret. I'm going to call up the frets of the first finger. So we have 7th fret, then the 5th, 4, 3, then you just go to an A, open A power chord, just, and then to the 5th fret octave and seven. So we have seven, five, four, three, A power chord, five, seven. All right, so if you don't have a guitar player that can play that, when you're doing these original progression, when you go to this third chord, which is the A, you might want to put that C sharp in the bass. And then That's instead of playing it like that, just if you don't have a guitar player, you can do that octave because it's very important to the sound. All right, then we have another guitarist that's doing the unison bends once again with it, and the unison bend melody with that is this. So once the same unison bends that we did earlier, on the same strings at least, I'm just going to call it the, the fret of the first finger. So you're going to play the fifth fret, unison bend, then eight, ten, back to eight, and then just play ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so just remember that five, eight, ten, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so that, that pre chorus is what we were just learning right there. It's at that one minute and 54 second mark of the song. And then we have the actual chorus finally, yay. And that's at the one minute and 59 second mark of the song. Um, and that has this. All right, now over that is the same little kind of thing that we did in the intro. So that's there, but we've already covered that. So that's kind of layered on top of this. Um, but this main riff here for the chorus is... So it's the power chord here off the... You can play it any way you want, but power chord off the th third fret of the A string. Hit that three times, then 
slide to seven on the eight, five, three. So we have this. Then the open A power chord. So the open A string and second fret there on the D and the G. So we have this. Then that's the third fret there on the low E to the open A string twice. I'm sorry, you don't hit the open A twice. You go G string, uh, the G note there. It's the low E string, third fret, open A, back to the third fret on the low E, and then the open E power chord. So the open low E string with the second fret on the A and the D. And then the little transition riff after that is, which is third fret on the low E, second now on the um, A string, back to three on the low E, and then into a D major chord. Sometimes it's just, just a D power chord, so you, they basically miss the top string, but it's usually you get a D major a lot. So we have this. So Steve will be that. So the last time we stop there and go. So that's just um, after this. After the A riff, then you go up here to get the power chords off the seventh fret of the A string. Do that a couple times, down to five. And you just go back and forth between them a couple times, two times. All right, and that takes you back to the main riff again. All right, now, uh, so it goes back through the, all the same sections that we just covered. The only new thing we're gonna have here is the, and there's a little transition into the solo. Um, so that's kind of very similar to what we just learned right here. There was this little extra chord in there. So he does that same, it's at the three minute and 59 second mark. So we have this. So you just do that like, I don't know, seven times. And then seven, ten, five, seven. All right, and then we get to the guitar solo. So underneath the guitar solo, the guitar solo starts at the four minute and six second mark. Um, we have this chord progression. All right, so that um, is just the E power chord, or you can just do the full E minor. The G, D, really D power chord to the A. Now he has an F power chord. He might jump up here. I, mean, I can't see a video of what he's doing here yet. There's no live videos yet. So it could be the F here, which is the third fret of the D string. Fifth on the G and uh, uh, sixth of the B. Back to the third fret power chord of the A string. Or you just grab this chord at the eighth fret off the A string. So any, either way. All right. Now let me show you the guitar solo that goes on over that. Let me play through it real quick for you. Here we go. All right, so most of that is based off of fifths, uh, and then he, he moves it to some sixths. So we're gonna start here sliding into the ninth fret on the G string, and then 12th, playing the 12th on the B with it. So we have this. So you just let them ring together. So then slide into that nine, and then 12 with it on the B. Okay. 
the crossovers like three times. And then you play the same shape but down two frets. Just pick across it once. And then you pick the G string again and slide it up to the 12th fret. And then play the, it's the same shape now, play it going over to the B string, 15th fret, and then back to the G. So we have this. All right, and then we round this. That's the, this is the sixth here, the major sixth. Then we have the uh, 14th fret on the D to the 14th fret on the B string. Play those a few times, and then go back to the fifth shape here off the G string, 10th fret, there's 10th fret there on the G, 13 on the B. Then pick, pick the G, slide it to 12, Kind of the same thing we did before, grabbing that 15 there on the B. So, so far we have this. Then we just start over with the same thing. Now when we get to the sixth, the second time around, he continues with those to the end of the solo. So you pick across this D and B string here, the 14th fret, twice. Move down two frets. And now we're going to move down to the uh, 11th fret on the D and the 10th fret on the B string twice. So we hit us. All right, then we get to the bridge section coming out of the guitar solo. It's at the four minute and 20 second mark. I know I'm gonna get some comments about that. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a pretty uh, easy progression. Uh, they just play through it a couple times. And it's, it's just a... Now this opening is just a power chord off the third fret. He might be holding that. Then go into a D power chord and then an A power chord. And it might be just the bass line that's going. But there's a, a move in there from C to B in the bass. So you might as well do it on the guitar too. So, um, so we have the C power chord. And then you just back the note on the fifth string up uh, back a fret. Then to the D power chord and the A. And then back to the same chords. Now over that we have an octave going on too, which it sounds like he's moving the octave shape from the seventh to the fifth fret initially. just back and forth between there, and sometimes it sounds like he's just holding the seven. So do what you feel sounds the best. Initially, he's doing that seven to five thing, but I'm just, you know, kind of splitting hairs here. Anyway, so then we, have, we go through the same um, chorus riff again, and we have an ending of the song at the five minute and 50 second, I guess it is. All right, so um, let me play through the ending section for you real quick because um, it has uh, a couple of new things in it. So it looks like this. So this starts off with that same riff that we use to always transition back to that main riff. And then they start going crazy on it. If they do it four times, they go, then they just do this seven, 10, seven, five, and then do seven, 10, do that same thing again, seven, 10, seven, five, and then seven, five, seven, back to the normal riff. So we have this. Actually, when you get back to that, when you do that seven, ten, seven, five, again, 
And then when you get back to seven, it's over and you go back to the main riff. Now, when they're doing the main riff at the end of the song, they do it four times, and the fourth time, right after the pull off, so we have this. You're gonna hit some random harmonics, usually kind of around, kind of on the uh, fourth fret around the, the first time. Really doesn't matter, they're just trying to create noise there. And then back to the riff again. slide that time after the fourth one, well halfway th after the pull off of the fourth uh, one, then back to the same rhythm again, more harmonics, and then we had that same, we're going to end it just like we did the chorus before, except we're going to add, instead of doing it just like that standard power chord, we're going to add the same fret there, so we're going to add the fifth of the chord in the bass. So that is, we have this E power chord here, add the seventh fret of the low E string in with it. So that twice, just like the normal ending, down to two frets, so the fifth fret, and then back. That just ends the song. All right, so that was pretty detailed, but there's a lot of layers to the song, and it just totally rocks. So it's a really cool song if you have enough guitar buddies to, to jam out with it. Uh, I highly recommend it. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.